Hey everybody, I am going to show you how to do the research project rough draft. Okay, um, this video is for people that are pretty much done with their note, or actually not pretty much, but done with their notes and ready to move forward. Um, so go ahead and watch this. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to complete this. All right. Now, the first thing to note is that each of the categories for the outline is going to be its own paragraph with the exception of the culture. And the culture is going to be a different paragraph per category. So for example, if you chose art and music, there's a paragraph for art and there's a paragraph for music. Okay. So all in you guys, I haven't talked about the, the conclusion yet, and we'll do that all together as a class, but all in, you should have in between six and eight paragraphs total. Okay. So there's going to be a paragraph for geography, a paragraph for government, a paragraph for social classes, a paragraph for culture. I'm missing one. Oops. And there's a paragraph for social levels. Okay. So going over to our example here, um, the first thing you're going to want to put is the out or the heading. Okay. So it's your name, my name, the date, the assignment is due. Okay. So you're not going to want to put the date that you worked on it. It's the date the assignment's due and the rough draft is due on the um, 26th of May. All right. And then very simply the title of the project, which is research project. Okay. Um, second thing is your introduction is just about geography. Okay. So all of those geography facts, so continent, hemispheres, major landforms, time period, the civilization thrived, all of that is going to end up in your paragraph for, um, geography. And that's the introduction. Okay. You don't need to, um, add too much else to it. Uh, and I've always said in social studies, you can't talk about a civilization unless you know where the civilization was in the geography first. So that very first paragraph is going to be <clears throat> geography and just make sure that you are um, going back and forth between your outline and, uh, and, and your new file and making sure that you have all the information. Um, second paragraph is food supply, like I said. Uh, next paragraph is government. Next paragraph after that is social classes. And then the example here, you're going to see, um, culture. So there's a paragraph for artwork, a paragraph for religion. Um, and then the conclusion, which we'll talk about later. Don't worry about that right now. All right. So here's some important things. First of all, you're going to want to make sure that you are taking the facts from your outline and putting them in complete sentences into paragraphs that are readable and have a nice flow to them. Don't just plug the information in. You know, you can't just say Europe, Northeast Hemisphere, 1400 BC. Make sure that every fact is connected to a complete sentence and then those complete sentences are put together for a paragraph. The second thing here and we are practicing this with the um, uh, printing press assignment, is you are going to have to cite your sources inside the document. And this is probably the most important part. Um, each and every fact that you use from your research needs to be in the outline and it needs to be connected to the source. So right here, you're going to see Harappa had many important landforms such as the Indus River and the Himalayan mountains. And then in parentheses is historical India. Historical India over on the example for um, the outline is a book where this person got their information from. So each fact needs to be connected to a source. Okay. Um, this person also got a lot of information from the ancient world. And if you go back through here, you're going to see that the ancient world is cited as well. So the way you want to structure your sentences is you take the fact and then before you finish the sentence in parentheses, you're going to put the title of the book or website. Okay. That's how you cite sources. Um, another thing to note is that the citation is part of the sentence and therefore the period goes after it. Okay. Um, now, 
And, and, and so that's really the extra step in the rough draft is to make sure that you are citing all of your sources. Okay. So each fact that you pull, a lot of you guys did a great job with color coding or, you know, really doing a nice job indicating where the information came from every time plunk that source right in. Okay. Um, you might run into situations where you have this bit, a big long link or something. And what you want to do is just tell me the title of the website. So you don't under no circumstances are you to put a link into your essay, just like hand eye magazine or, you know, uh, khanacademy.org, just the main, um, website title. Okay. So you'll see this all the way down. So Khan Academy is right there. Uh, historical India, India again, hand eye magazine. So even if it's hand eye magazine.com slash whatever, what like you see this big, um, link right here, you're dropping everything but the article title. All right. Um, so, and that goes all the way through historical India is right there. Historical India is right here. Um, ancient world. If you have a paragraph that is completely from one source, just wait until the end and put the source at the end of the paragraph, you know, BBC right here. Um, that's, uh, another source. It's probably a big long link. Okay. So just to recap so far. Each category is a paragraph. Every fact that you have, you, it needs to be connected to a source and you put it in parentheses like that. The th final thing I'm going to tell you today is that each paragraph needs a topic sentence or an introduction. Okay. Don't just randomly start talking about a different topic. You need to introduce it in one way or another. So these topic sentences don't have to be the most creative thing in the world, but they need to be an introduction. It's simple. All right. Uh, you see here, the Harappa civilization was very interesting and highly developed. Okay. That is a very simple, but very effective topic sentence. The Harappa civilization had an interesting food supply. Harappa civilization had an amazing government. Harappa civilization had an outstanding system for social classes. Um, these are not the most creative topic sentences in the world, but they're really solid. Okay. It introduces the topic and it lets the reader know what the next paragraph is going to be about. And I'm going to look for, uh, you folks to do those. Okay. Um, here's another one. Harappa civilization and incredible artwork, the most advanced this, I like this one a lot because it, it shares an opinion a little bit as well. The most advanced aspect of Harappa civilization was their religion. Okay. Um, so, uh, topic sentences there. Just to recap, all the information from your outline needs to go into uh, paragraph form. Every time you pull information from the internet and it came from a specific place, whether it's a book or a website, it needs to be cited in parentheses. All your paragraphs need um, topic sentences. Last thing I'm going to say, and I'm going to let everyone go. If you have a source in your outline that you are not using, nothing needs to be done with it. Okay. So for example, here, I didn't see that YouTube, uh, was cited in the example. Um, they dropped it. So you might run into a situation where you have a source that you're not using and you don't have to put it anywhere. Just ignore it. Okay. You only cite the things that you actually use in the essay. All right. Um, so this is again, just a video for people that are a little ahead and want to want to move forward. Um, I will talk more about this uh, in class, but this video is just as a reference or maybe you're out or something. Anyway, um, have a good day. And um, in class, let me know if you have any questions.